Hello hackers, today I'm going to hack a website and take control over the server, escalate my privileges and become root. We're going to use multiple techniques, so I'm so excited to share with you my workflow. Let's get started. If you're interested in learning more about these techniques, if you are interested in pursuing an ethical hacker career, then I encourage you to head over to academy.thehackerish.com. There you will find online courses that you can enroll to and just find a suitable course for you. It should give you a great start. So like in every enumeration step, we need to find the uh, open ports. So to do that, I'm going to use Nmap with um, let's start with top um, 100 ports, <coughs> just to make things quick and easy for us. We're just barely starting. And I'm going to target my host and um, let's activate the verbose mode and only target the open ports. All right, very quick. It was 80, 80, 80 ports. And while our full port scan is running, I'm going to check out the uh, open ports. So let's uh, actually create an output file called scan. Um, let's just uh, leave the nmap format for now. And while it's running, let's go to our target. which is on this IP address and port 80. So it seems that we land on a default Apache 2 web server page. And what about 8080? Um, we seem to have been redirected to port 80 but on a subfolder under gallery. So we land on a login page of a system called simple image gallery. Okay. The first thing we test on every login page is obviously SQL injection. So let's try with a simple quote on both username and password. We get incorrect username or password. Okay. What about double quotes? Same. All right, let's use a fully full SQL injection, both username and password. Incorrect. Um, so if we try another payload, maybe this time the comment at the end. Uh, oops. Uh, it seems like we land on the um, administrator account. All right, that that's uh, really interesting to see that we didn't have any error, any, any error, error server side, and um, the um, login using our first payload like this did not work because we know that both username and passwords are strings. But anyway, we can save this question for later. And uh, let's continue. All right, so we got access to the administrator page. Uh, let's try to discover what this application has to offer. So we have a page called user, which apparently displays the uh, data of the user. First name, last name, username, password, avatar. Oops. So we we um, have like a file upload feature here. I wonder if we try something like PNG. Does it uh, create any path? No, it's just a blob. I think I might need to use burp to really understand the requests behind the scenes because um, when we see the image, it has been uploaded, right? Um, even though it's space 64 here. Uh, so I want to understand more about this feature. 
if the feature does not check for our input, then we might be able to um, upload arbitrary files and maybe get remote code execution. So let me run burp. The community edition is enough for us. We'll create a temporary project and configure the proxy so that we can see the requests. Let's give it some time and voila. Okay. So the proxy is on and let's listen on our requests. Now remember, I let me first configure my browser and send my PNG file. So do we see anything? Uh, yeah, that's uh, for Grammarly. They are injecting the extension everywhere. <clears throat> so when we upload this, it's client side, so we don't see any request. And uh, if we update the data, we see a post request to the user's endpoint with our the content of our image. Now, real quick, I'm just going to configure the target to just include this scope so that we are not bothered with other requests. <clears throat> and now if we go to proxy and then show only, show all and then show only in scope items, we just see the things that we are interested in. Now, there is something under uploads. I wonder if it's the same image that we've uploaded. I guess so. If we, um, so if we render this, so as you can see, this is our arrow image. Now, I wonder if we could like, post a file instead of, uh, I mean, a PHP file instead of uh, JavaScript or uh, PNG. So let's change the extension here to PNG. Um, the content type would be, what is the content type of PHP? Let's look that up. PHP content type. I guess it's application PHP, but just to make sure. Yeah, uh, no, it's not that one. Um, text HTML, no. Uh, mime type, let's try with this one, PHP mime type. So .php would be application xhtpd php. Okay, so let's try with this one. I mean, we could upload a PHP file directly, but I just want to show you how to play with the requests manually and to understand how um, HTTP requests that contain file actually work. So here I'm just going to maybe say PHP info. Why not? We're just testing here on a test environment. We're not working with a um, production environment. Okay, I think that is looking promising. Let's send it. And we have one in uh, the return, but it seems that it has worked. Well, let's verify. Now, if I go to the repeater and send this request that targets the PNG file, just change the extension to PHP because we had the same file name, remember? So that's our first request, the file name. Oh, so the file name is different. Uh, 16. 60 and 611, 60, 61, 1, and we have something 
um, prepended here. Okay, I think it's related to some kind of timestamp, but so yeah, we get 404, but I suspect that the uh, file exists there. Is there any directory listing here? Uh, yes, so we have okay, which means we can, let me just render this for you. So here we have our file. We have also user one, I don't know what it is, but um, let's actually copy this value. So let's search in the response for PHP and that would be the prefix that we wanted. And I put it here and send. And if we render, we get PHP info executed, which means that we have essentially performed remote code execution. Now, I just want to see if there are any disabled functions here because that would um, give me an idea of how to leverage this capability to run arbitrary commands. Disabled, uh, disable functions, I guess that's the name. No, we don't have any, which means that Probably we could inject whatever we wanted here. If you want to learn how to get from here to elevated, elevating your access and doing some code review, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you receive the video once it's uploaded. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.